versus Roy Jones Jr. Man, you can feel the tension in this room. It's palpable. Eight two-minute rounds sanctioned by the California State Athletic ready? Commission. Are you ready? Bell in round one, Ray Corona with a, well, pivotal task. The referee will have to really be on the ball. Mike Tyson expecting to come out as fast as possible. You see what Roy's doing Roy, now? Roy, dance. Roy, Roy has to do that the whole time. Shit, go ahead, Roy. Mike Tyson with a cavalcade of first round knockouts going to the liver and upstairs with that left hook. And there's a little of that bob and weaving, of course, custom model teaching him the early intricacies of boxing and Mike Tyson all over Roy Jones Jr. Snoop. This shit like two of my uncles fighting at the barbecue. <laughs> get, get your uncle out of there. Get him out. You, you go meet me in the backyard. Huh? I'm tired of this shit. Come on. Come on. Meet me back here, huh? Get, it, get, it, get up in there, there, Roy. Shit, in and out. 12 Ten ounce gloves. Right? Ooh, Not the normal 10 ounce gloves, Israel. They will blunt a little bit of the offense. Hold on to it, Roy. Hold on to it. Don't take that. Get out of there. Them tender now. Them ribs is tenderoni. Back up. Already a minute gone. Again, just two minute rounds. Mike Tyson coming forward. Boy, look at my uncle. Look at him. Look at my uncle's out there fighting in the backyard. Stop. Stop. Back up. Hey, he did it first. Roy Jones Jr. <laughs> We're he talking said. the referee says he can get me yeah. first, I gotta hold him. <laughs> he said he's bringing his hand, I gotta hold him. You gotta protect yourself. Get out of there, Roy. You still got it? Well, there's a double, triple jab with Mike Tyson. Tyson trained with famed MMA trainer. And I know, Izzy, you know him very well, Rafael Cordero. Rafael Cordero. And, and Cordero said he had to end up having shoulder surgery, just holding the pads for Tyson. Mm, definitely, I can imagine that. Power. That's power. Okay, okay, come on, Roy Box. Roy's trying to make him run into that right hand. That's what he wanted to do? Yes. With that jab. So well, he put the jab out there to get that right to commit, huh? Exactly. The style of fighting of Roy Jones Jr., it does not, not conducive to older age, but Mike Tyson really taking the opening round. That was a good round. Look at the champ. You don't even want to sit down. Stay up there, Mike. <laughs> so he's sitting down. Oh, he's going to sit down. Take advantage of that. Put the fucking. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, Mike. What fucking beautiful. Where's the buffet, coach? Roy can't beat Mike Tyson inside like that. No. He needs to stay mobile. Yes. Double jab everything. Double jab everything. He's a player of you. He changes. Breathe and relax. Grab the bucket. Breathe and relax. And then you're, mm -hmm. you're going to catch him. Yes. He's already done. All right? Come back with a shot, like make the little turns shorter and then come right back with stuff, okay? You can see this stuff coming. You see it somewhat. Deep right, deep right. Yeah. There, the know, breathing man. is yeah. already heavy, Snoop. He said, You can see it coming. He said, Yes, somewhat. You got it. You got it. Tell it like it is and not like it was, huh? Amen. Round number two. And Mike Tyson explodes and delivers a left to the body and the left hook upstairs. And Roy Jones Jr., you know, he talked about facing Anderson Silva, the MMA legend. Is he easy? He just want, he's trying to turn this into a wrestling match. Go here, Roy. Look at Roy. He got technique, boy. Roy got He better be careful there. He's doing the right thing, but he needs to get out of there. Yeah, because he's going to make Mike mad. He's going to put it. He was. Mike Tyson used to be a vegan of Andrew Holyfield, which is he was on that night in 97 as Tyson, though, coming for it. Oh, oh, just blocked Roy Jones with that left hand, and Jones shook it off. And now Jones Those are Roy asked him, Lord. trying to turn back the clock one more time. Shit, mix it up, Roy. You ain't coming to play. It's your money. Father Time undefeated. These two way past their primes, but looking for get out of here, Roy. Get up and do he can't, he can't, at least. He can't let Mike get settled with the right hand. That was a move and a half. He went real low. That was a low rider move right there. He dropped down to the floor. And, oh, get out of there, Roy. Get the ribs out of there. They're going to be so low. Get them out of there. Israel, what do you think of Roy Jones Jr. tactics here? I think he's trying to get Mike tired by grappling with him, making him feel his way, making him frustrated as well. So that way he can make a mistake. But, man, you don't want to make Mike mad. Uh-uh. You got to keep them ribs off that barbecue grill. Because they will be so man. <laughs> Under 30 seconds left here in the second round. Tyson digging to the body momentarily, but they might need oxygen in between rounds here as they are just 
leaning on each other. And again, let's oh, go ahead, Roy. Get oh, smart there. Go ahead, Roy. Get smart. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at Roy. Oh, yeah, Roy. Get him, yeah, Roy. Use that jab. Mike's oh, oh yeah, yes, 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 wow. Mike. double left, yep. here. and yet Jim around. Oh, ding, 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 Blue ball can imagine the third jab. Brave a little bit, fellas. Brave a little bit. One, two, and three. Yes. And then you put that bomb. And you're hearing yeah. the voice of Rafael Cordero. Responsible him. for honing him. some of the uh, skills of some of the greatest MMA strikers ever, including Ed Bender. Like some of them. There's nice Jones. Get nice off, bro, dart. with the no look. Hit him with the dart and then escape. Shake him back, baby. Shake him back. Get out of there. No Just look. get out of there. That's the rule I love right there. The no look. Not too smart. Not too smart. All right. Jones appears to be breathing a little laboriously, but Mike Tyson appears to be okay. Now comes up, moving the head a bit, trying to walk down. Jones lands the left. This is where conditioning comes into play. Ooh, beautiful footwork from Mike Tyson. See, Mike, he, he, he fainting him now. He fainting him now. He's just not walking in straight. He gives him some head fakes, some leg movements. Ooh, low output. Good combination. Yep. Oh, oh, again, the left hand and uh, referee Corona uh, walking and watching. And again, Roy Jones Jr. just trying to keep it close, trying to wear down Mike Tyson potentially. And Roy's getting the better of the inside fighting at the moment. He's smart. He's smart. That's a veteran fighter right there that knows how to wrap up and not take no big hits, but keep it in, in tight like that. But is it, it, is, it, is it entertaining and exciting for the viewing public at home, Snoop? I know it's smart. Uh, but normally when Mike Tyson fights, he fights tall guys, big guys. Oh, we got a headbutt. You got guys. Now with Roy, Roy's like the same height. Right. And I... And we've had an exit on El Heb, but I heard uh, that potentially if there was a, a cut, that the Ray Corona may be looking to stop it. But this stuff so far so good here in terms of, I don't think there was a cut, obviously. It's too good to stop. Yeah, can't stop this because of a cut. What you just boxing? Put some, put some Vaseline on that thing and keep it moving. Yeah, some Lysol. Use that adrenaline. Oh, and there's an exchange. A great exchange from two legends right there. Speaking of legends, very proud to have Snoop Dogg on the broadcast as a big fan. And you're, you're breaking it down for us, brother. Hey, man, this is what I love. I love watching boxing. I love to be able to talk about it and be about it at the same time. Oh, and Jones avoids that punch by Tyson. Get you some points. He's trying to frustrate. He's trying to frustrate. Yes, exactly. He needs to let his hands go. Right. That's how you get points, right? Absolutely. You gotta be careful with those hands down. Wise man once said, if you don't have any expectations, you will never be disappointed. And we need to temper our expectations in terms of what we will see tonight, Snoop. Well, you know, I just, I, I'm so happy that I'm seeing these guys still have it, like still have the punches, still have the awareness and the know-how and, and the smarts inside the ring. They may not have the same velocity, the same speed, but they still got that know-how. Yeah, they got the mind, but uh, sometimes the body doesn't uh, do what the mind says, right, Israel? Definitely. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. They're very competitive. Good fight. Good fight so far. And we still have a few rounds left. Faint it. Faint it and do it off. Listen. Even do it off the faint and switch and throw the one. Yeah, the there you go with that one hand, but you got to put some body behind that one hand because you ain't doing nothing. And he has to frustrate Mike. Do he really want to frustrate Mike? Mike's there already. <laughs> he's already across from you. Of course, on, Mike guys. Tyson would Looking love good. to Come deliver on, that patented right hook to the body, followed by the right uppercut has done so much damage over the years, and Tyson attacking Jones. Oh, you mean the one he's doing, the Mike Tyson punch-out video? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. 
And he's done it in a, a few fights as well as he is. I mean, that uppercut. And Jones had a, a very good uppercut in the day. And Jones trying to utilize the footwork, the speed, obviously nowhere close to where it was in his prime. But Jones trying to deacon juke here. What Roy Jones is doing is really trying to frustrate him. But Tyson cuts the corner off. Yeah, he does. Cuts the ring, yeah. Bulldog. Bulldog. That's what he has to be. Well, I feel like I'm back in my days as a pro wrestling announcer with some of this grappling, maybe a little Muay Thai, almost a Thai plum there, is he? Yeah, this is some Muay Thai. Ain't, no, ain't nobody punking out in here. Ain't no, no, you hit me, I'm hitting you back. I, no, I like this. This is what I like. My uncles is getting it in. Grandma will have to break this up. Grandma, they out there fighting again. Referee Ray Corona warning Roy Jones Jr. for holding. You know the punch, that punch that, uh, that uh, Mike throws, that hook to the body and then the uppercut? The short one. The short one. Uh, th that will be effective. Here's our unofficial right score by the former champions. I'm really impressed with Mike Smith. Oh, oh, oh right oh, in the body, yes. another body that was shot. That was that Jones was wins it, and the veteran Jones that's hanging on now. That's the shot. Yeah, that's the throw. Looking for Start the mighty shot. Use Tripping. the strength, yes. That was beautiful. 20 seconds left in the rim. Yeah, 20 seconds left in the first half of this eight-round fight. Again, only two-minute rounds. Oh, get off there, Roy, get off. He's working the body. Roy Jones. And what he keeps doing to get away with it, he'll tie one hand, punch with the other, then swap around and tie with the other hand, and keep punching. See, but only a veteran would be able to do something like That's that crap. against Mike Tyson. That's it crap. Is, is, is we have it, WBC what? former champion judges on hand tonight, of course, Chad Dawson. Christy Martin and Vinny Pazienza. Pazienza, by the way, infamous for not landing a punch against Roy Jones in the fourth round in their fight. That was the first time in history. Guys, tell me something. It does does Roy look tired to you? Yes. Yes. Out of the two fighters, exhausted. definitely Mike is, is in the better shape so far. Because he can see the way he's breathing. He's yeah, he, he's, he's exhausted. The body language says it all. 100%. And it, again, when you, you know, we're talking, and I don't want to beat the, the horse here, guys, but two over 50 year olds, what, what do you expect in terms of conditioning and stuff? Well, I know I am on the basketball court. In my early days, I could play like five or six games, and I can only play one game with 21. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, so, no, no, hey, Roy, he's, he's not. Two legends, man. Let's look He's not looking as confident. Oh, the referee yes. encouraging them. Two oh, legends. Let's look sharp up there. Well, there's a sharp shot by Mike Tyson, the sharpshooter in this fight. But there you go. Protect yourself, Roy. Protect yourself. That's there, Mike Tyson. In there. Oh, yeah. And Tyson, there, Tyson avoids that punch. Lord, don't let him have a flashback. Precious Lord, please don't let him have a flashback. Mm -hmm. Coming up on the oh, midpoint of round five, and again, rattling Roy Jones. Jones ducking down and just wants to close the gap, wants to clinch here, is he? And Tyson wants to create some separation. Let him. Roy got it. We're keeping a gangster right now. Go ahead, Roy. Oh, there you go. Oh. It's just conditioning. That's the only thing. He's just leaking in his conditioning. Well, there's a, Ray, we talked about it. There's a difference between being in physical shape, cosmetic shape. Tyson looked great on the pads over 100 pound weight loss, but fighting shape is another thing. And here they are. Last minute of the fifth. They're heading to 10 minutes already of action. And that may not be saying a lot, but it is a lot, Izzy. It takes a lot out of you. Yeah, definitely. It takes a great deal. With another man who is way on you. When he has him on the Oh, right. there's that right hand by Tyson. That was a shot. On the that was a shot. Oh, 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 Tyson picking off Roy Jones Jr. That is, there's that no look jab by Roy Jones Jr. Oh, Ronnie, get out of there, though. Get out of there, Roy. 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 And there again, the veteran move by Jones. I don't want any more of this. My Tyson is out there fighting right now. Yep. They're fighting like me, and I like that. They're fighting like grown men. Take a step back. Kids at home, y'all watch this. Two grown men fighting right here. That's how you handle it. Mike Tyson tries to deliver. Mike Tyson tries to deliver. And the Jones hook turns. Way to stay down, Roy. Way to stay down, Roy. She stands your ground. He in there with the champ, man. He's squabbing.
No, no you ain't bleeding, Roy. He just rolled up a little bit. Did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> we got a Man, draw that. What round is it? You know? What round? This is it, bro. Right? What round is it? <laughs> you good? I think Roy's starting to feel the pressure of the moment. Good, Roy? Yeah. yeah. This is the, that's the champ over there. Yeah, man. He even came out of shell. Them punches starting to add up. He still got it. And of course, Jones, a former four division champion, made history again. Guys, he weighed 193 pounds when he defeated John Ruiz for the heavyweight title. Old school. Rocky Bucks. I know it is. More of a light heavyweight than a real natural heavyweight. Exactly. Well, he was, yeah, moved down to face Antonio Tarver after he called up Mike Tyson 17 years ago. Let's look no. good, man. Let's go. That was then, but this is now. And we're in round number six, scheduled for eight in this boxing exhibition. Look like Mike got him in range right now. He just finally sized him up and got him right in his range where he wanted him at. And of course, no surprise, the, the punch stats a uh, shell of what they were in their front. But Tyson, left hook just on the bell line. Man, Roy would not allow Mike to run a combination on him. Every time he get ready to run a combination, he'd lock him up. And, 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 he, and he should. But he's smart enough to know that. If he don't, but if he doesn't throw punches oh, back. Battered him with the right hand to the body. And Roy Jones again comes in. And, and Izzy, I know. Mike Tyson, the bigger guy. Roy Jones clinching, smothering. Has to find a way to use that jab. Keep Tyson at distance. Yeah, right there, the dog. Whenever he throws that in his case, like, like Snoop said, he has to put a little bit more body behind it. You can't just defect him away. You have to put your weight behind it. Yeah, give him some. But, but the thing about it with Roy, Roy's doing the right thing with moving, and, but he has a punch. He has a little punch. Well, that's the name of the game. He's... Beginning to fatigue, but still standing in there. Mitz oh, the and there is that right off the oh, way. Get out the way. Yeah. And that just missed Roy Jones Jr. He missed it by that much. Let's go, work, man. Come on, go back. I still can't believe this is happening, guys. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. Is he? What's life, brother? Man, it's like he was playing chess with right there. Roy also is more elusive than the other big, bigger heavyweights right. that Tyson has faced. Yeah, he got way more footwork. But, but, exactly. He made way more athletic. Emmanuel Stewart, the estimable late trainer, said knockout sell. I know everyone tuning in. Hoping to see a knockout, but there's Roy Jones. There's the shootout. Hopping there's the shootout off Tyson's face. They both made it, and that was the shootout. Wow, that was good, fellas. Good shit. I like that. That's a bunny hop in the pee patch. <laughs> Breathe and relax. You're fucking doing great. You just back? You gotta keep your hands up, though, baby. No, he's wrong one. Yeah. There you go. He's wrong one again. Kidding me? We'll go 15 if we gotta. Between the broadcast and the fights, we we're hearing more cuss words than Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. <laughs> All we need is Samuel Jackson for commercials, and we good. <laughs> Ooh, made a okay. miss. <laughs> Trying to make him pay. Look at the way he cut the angle on that. That is so slick. That's skillful, though. He's That's still skillful. Got it, he still got it. Look at him walking around playing like he used to. <laughs> That's the old Roy. Understand? Yeah. Keep doing it, baby. Man, I'm proud of both of these yeah. fighters tonight, man. They they really making me proud of Jones them. sucking it up yeah. in the corner. Jersey Joe. Let's go. Let's That's go. Jersey right Joe. Round seven right here, gentlemen. Looking. Looking good, Mike. Looking good, Roy. Shout out to Jersey Joe. A wall oh, cut as now Tyson touches him to begin this round. Round at number seven. Mauro Ranallo along with Hall of Famer Sugar Ray Leonard, undefeated UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and the one and only, the dog father, hip hop OG Snoop Dogg. And look at this. Oh, get out of there. Get out of that goddamn corner. Stop! No, 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 no. No man, Allen Box. Of course, joined by Jim Gray, hosted by Mario Lopez, and what an eclectic team on this eclectic night, Tyson. And Roy Jones Jr. I like them jab combinations that he used to run off in the 90s. He just put them on mic right there. Are you guys thinking the referee should break it up sooner, uh, Israel? Are you content with the clinch? No, I think he should break it up sooner. Because he already knows what he's going to do, what his tactic is. So definitely let them box. Look at that! What is it up about? Under a minute left in the seventh. Take a step back. Back him off. 
Again, it's an exhibition hard sparring. We're seeing some hard shots, Snoop. Can I have a side order of short ribs? Okay. Yes. With some Mike Tyson sauce on it. Short rib shots hurt. They will take all your air out of you. Fatigue setting in for Roy Jones Jr. Wants to. Turn back the clock, but the clock is maybe stopping ticking here in terms of speed. He is just leaning in on Mike Tyson, and again, I'm sure people are saying, well, what do you expect with a 54-year-old and 51-year-old? But Mike Tyson is bringing yeah, that shot. Looks like that shot hurt to the, to the midsection of a boy. Roy trying to land that left, trying to get those feet under him. See? What I'm saying is that neither one of these fighters can really get a beat on each other because they don't know each other's style and they try to figure it out in two minutes ain't enough time. By the time we get to the minute and 30 seconds, it's too late. And in his prime, Jones, known for his unique and unorthodox fighting style, defied many of boxing's oldest traditions. Well, tonight, old tradition. Emphasis on the old with the 54-year-old Tyson, 51-year-old Jones, and we are in the home stretch here, Snoop. Yeah, we on the back stretch. Uh, they look like they run out of gas, but at the same time, I just feel like one punch could end this fight if they actually get it, you know, in range. They're trying to find each other's range right now, but it ain't really working out. You need to fucking give me my arm and I'll leave right here. Last minute kick, you hear me? You got to win this fucking decision right here. Well, the corner's obviously taking it very seriously. Yeah, they is. They have land. And win the round, you hear me? Cussing like a sailor. <laughs> and it hasn't exactly been smooth sailing for Roy Jones Jr. in this fight. You can't move. And I use the term quite loosely, an exhibition. Come on, pull it out. For some reason, this ring looks a little smaller than the average rings I've seen. It does. It does look small. Am, am I tripping? I, no, it is. They did that just to get a little bit more action. Okay, because yeah. I'm like, well, you can't run in this ring. Here comes you can't even walk. Tyson. And we saw a lot of action throughout the night. Let's not forget that many Great thrillers fights. here on Triller. But this tonight. is the reason we're here tonight, Snoop. Oh! oh! Most of these legends, wow! They both got off on that. Oh! That is, oh, oh, oh that is like this. Let's go! And Tyson, though, holding up. Get off there, Roy! Get off, Roy! Look at him! Oh, here we go! Let's Roy get Jones, get, get off, Roy! Here we go! Here we go. Come on. Boy, this is a hell of a fight right here. Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. A minute oh, left in this, well, maybe not the battle of the ages, the battle of the aged, but it is an exhibition, and Roy Jones Jr. trying to sum it up. Get him. Oh, and there's a double left hook by Tyson. Roy got a bunch of padlocks with him. He brought about 100 padlocks to lock my corner. Every time he get range. Put him in a straight jacket so you don't go nowhere. Hand me that padlock. He's in range. But it's Tyson who appears to have those keys to victory. 40 seconds and again, Guys, battering the body. That was straight right there. That was straight. Being inactive for a couple of years or 15 years, it's not easy coming back. 15 years after Mike Tyson quit on his stool. Nearly three years after Roy Jones Jr. extended his win streak to four years. They are going to go the distance in this eight-round exhibition. Hats off to both men, though. 51 years old, 54 years old, coming in here. I have respect for them just getting in the ring. And, and again, we needed to temper expectations. The exhibition is over. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., still on. giving us six... <laughs> Mike wants some more. He mad now. <laughs> the beast is awoken, man. Yeah, that's what the it is. The God of War has summoned him. So, Israel, <laughs> it was an exhibition. Obviously, we don't want to expect too much, but what did you think of what you saw? I loved it. I loved the fact that they were able to stay competitive the whole way. Roy using his craftiness with the, with the grappling, with tying up the hands, getting Mike frustrated, and Mike able to still break loose with his head movement, missed shots to make him pay. Classic. Ray, do you want to come back? Do I want to come back? 64, you look like you're 34. <laughs> no, if I could fight you. Oh, let's go. Give Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg the referee. Uh, all seriousness, Ray, what, what, what do you think of what we witnessed tonight? No, I mean, look, the guys are 54 years yep. and 51. I mean, 
Snoop, did it, uh, did it deliver what you ex expected? Hey, man, when I was a kid, 54 and 51 was old man Ooh. with rocket chairs. So to see them out there doing their thing, that was, that was a lot to aspire to. I'm so honored to be here to see it. I know both of these guys personally, and I'm thank you, champs, both of y'all. Y'all did great tonight. And a pleasure for you to bring the entertainment, my That's man, dropping the knowledge and such a such a pleasure here tonight as Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. Yes, sir. Sharing the ring in the year of our Lord, 2020. Yes, sir. 2020. Mauricio My Suleiman Lord. is going to present both with the uh, frontline battle belts again. No official decision, but WBC will announce a winner if there is one. And I believe Mike Tyson should get the decision, right, Snoop? Yeah, he did that. He outworked Roy, but Roy fought a great fight, and he did his thing, took some big shots, and he gave a lot of great shots tonight. I like the way he moved around. Like you said, he was crafty. He was sharp. He was woody. He showed us signs of the old Roy Jones Jr. tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great night of sports and entertainment, courtesy of GES Boxing and Triller. With our broadcast team, anchored by Mario Lopez, with UFC middleweight champion Israel de Adesanya. Sports broadcast star Mauro Ronaldo, six-time world champion, Hall of Fame legend Sugar Ray Leonard. And a little help from Mr. Snoop Dogg, plus IBF, uh, pardon me, International Boxing Hall of Famer Jim Gray. And Jim Gray will be with our two superstars here in the ring in just a few moments discussing the WBC's scoring and opinions on this fight. And we'll see how they saw it. So, ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got more coming. They did that. I'm proud of them. You just don't know until you get into that ring. Mm. You can look brave in the gym. You get into that ring, it's a whole different animal. Mm. But it's not like sparring, right? Because no, the, the guy no. you spar with kind of like you. He's I, your friend. I, I, he can't, yeah. he can't yeah. hit you too hard because you may not pay him. But that yeah. guy across the ring right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, book uh, you and Snoop for WrestleMania, maybe. Wrestle? Wrestle? <laughs> come on. A little wrestling? You wrestle tag team? We, got, I mean, we, we had a little wrestling. We're we going to tag team. Me and Sugar Ray go tag team. Yeah. <laughs> I handled the first four minutes. <laughs> I'll take over. <laughs> <laughs> you still stay in the gym, Ray? Are you still in the gym? Well, I see you on some Instagram. Ray's yeah, still it, getting it, oh, man. Yeah, oh, He's yeah. still getting it. That's what keeps me going, man. Right. Keep you sharp. Keep me sharp. Exactly. Stay focused. I love the feeling right now that we'll, that we'll both be feeling is relief. A sense of relief. Like, yeah, we did that. Right. I know that feeling. Right after a fight, whether win or lose, you just have the sense of, like, yes. We did that. And, man, like I said, hats off to these two gentlemen because that was epic. Even though it wasn't of old for me just to see this nostalgic and be here with all y'all hats off to Classic. you brother what a is this your first time doing a fight yeah, commentary for, oh man it's my i'm a virgin at this amen. Well, not anymore amen very that's good that's what job. she said ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh what a night this is this is going down in the annals my man 34 years doing this i don't know if i'll ever have another night like this no, that's a classic, man. It's a classic. Yeah, it is. Instantly. Man. Shout out to the people that put this together, man. All of the great minds, the people behind the scenes. They don't ever get no credit, so we want to get them a shout out right now. And what about the the marriage of hip hop and boxing? I, I mean, real deal, Holyfield, Mr. We've been Herb together. Snow. We we've been married. You know what I'm saying? It just so happens that it's just finally being able to be, you know, broadcast and highly touted and being able to, you know, bring both worlds together. Because we've always been complimentary. You know, every time a fight happens, you know, we usually perform and we usually have to fight watching the Absolutely, fighters. Absolutely, yes. So All that's right. What it's about. Thank you, Snoop. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Morrow, thank you very much. Well, the scorecards of this exhibition, according to the former WBC world champions, is a draw. Mr. Tyson, what do you think of that? Okay, I'll, I'm good with that.